What's up traders, this is V Trades, and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Win Resorts with the ticker symbol WYNN. This was a viewer's request, so thank you for your donation. Please read the description below if you'd like to see the services I provide. Before we begin, please take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate all those who have already subscribed and liked my videos. Just a reminder that this video is for entertainment purposes only and does not constitute any financial advice. We will start out the technical analysis by going over what I see on the daily chart and potential price targets. Then we will take a quick look on the weekly chart to wrap it all up. So here we have the daily chart and the first thing that I noticed about win was that looks like prices were range bound right over here um, in the middle of this year. So these were the lows of the range right around that 120 level and it looks like the highs of the range was at that 136 level and then prices broke out recently. And then when prices broke out, um, prices went inside of a um, downtrend. So you can see here, making lower lows, lower highs. Uh, prices are below the EMA and the EMA is pointing down. So that's the downtrend uh, that I was talking about. And then what happened was that, let me change this color. So what happened is that eventually um, downtrend lost steam. That's why it came up short right here. And if it comes up short on one side, that most likely will probably get a break on the opposite side. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, we had that break outside and then prices went inside of a little congestion um, for a few days or a week. And then what happened was that uh, once price broke outside of this uh, congestion uh, with this large green bar back on the 7th of September, uh, that was pretty much a trap. So all the people were buying this breakout right above this 103 level. That's why you see this green bar. And then the next day later, uh, pretty much they reverse the market on the buyers. And that's why you got this huge gap down. Uh, when you see these large moves, that's pretty much a stop loss hunt. Um, they just stopped everybody out who had the stop loss right over here. And then they did it again. And especially since we had that first break of the channel, we expect a retest of the lows or even a new one. And that's exactly what happened. So now we're kind of in a um, place where prices can go up or down. It's, it's hard to tell since um kind of the market is neutral so since this downtrend is kind of played out it's hard to tell if we're going to reverse and just go right back up to the highs or we're going to continue lower to make that new uh, second leg because if we get a break of a channel usually the market does two legs so this could be the first leg and then we can get it something like that a little correction up and then the second leg or we could just um continue sideways in a range um, I do see this gap over here that prices could fill and that's what it looks like prices were doing during the whole time the Prices were slowly coming back down to fill in this gap and eventually um, it will do it uh, most likely um, So gaps kind of pretty much almost filled um, the lows of the gap is uh, $80 level So we're pretty much right there. So I don't know if the market wants to go down just a little bit more um, for continuing higher to fill in this gap Or we're just going to continue lower and lower to some other price target so let me just zoom out a little bit more on the daily chart. So as you can see here, right back um, in mid-March, right around this 142 level, that would have been the place to take profits because prices already made two legs up. So this was the first leg up. And if I just drag this over to the bottom of the move of that second leg, right around here, that's pretty much where it started. And it's lower than this low. So it's pretty much right at that target 142 and that's why prices sold off and cannot go higher than this. Um, there was also this uptrend that I see um, prices respecting right around here. So as you can see here, um, if I just take it off these bottom two swings right back here and here, and if I just drag it up, it matches up to the highs where prices were, were finding resistance and the measured move. So those are a lot of reasons to get out of the market right over here, at least take some profits off the table. And then you could have saved um, some shares and bought back in later. But that's pretty much what happened um, up on this upper side of the channel. Price found resistance three times. That was the first time right here, the second time and third time. And then prices just gave up and started going lower and prices were slowly going to come back to this side of the channel, but eventually broke it. And then um, we just had a break outside a new low of this downtrend channel. So if this uptrend channel is actually in play, since we had a 
um, end of this downtrend and a new low and the first break of this uptrend channel, uh, we could potentially reverse back up and retest these highs or even surpass it. Um, it's just hard to tell right now because um, we just had the sell off and right now we're in a transition transitionary period where we could either do this or we could just make that second leg down or just go sideways. So it's hard to tell, but those are the three scenarios I see playing out. If we do, um, I believe we would we will get a pullback sooner than later because we kind of got extended from the EMA. Prices just went straight down. So if we do get above the EMA and start trending up and up, um, that's my next target where we can reach um, pretty much these highs or even make a new one. But if we do make uh, just a little correction and find resistance again and continue lower, then I'm pretty sure we're going to continue lower all the way down to um, the weekly chart target I'm going to show you guys right now. So here's the weekly chart for win and it's pretty much just a range bound company. So it's pretty much just been going sideways for its entire time it's been on the market. So these are the lows of the range and if I drag this up it looks like these are the highs of the range. So pretty much the price is at where it was back in 07 or 08 or even 010, 2010 excuse me. So it's pretty much just going up and down, up and down. It's not really like a growth company like Tesla or something where it's just probably going to go higher and higher um, in the future or like an AI company or e-commerce company like Amazon or Apple. So this is pretty much um, just a range bound company kind of like Verizon or um, AT&T where they kind of like find a range bound and just stay within that bound for like decades. Um, so that's pretty much what this company is looks like, looking like to me technically. Um, it could become worth more in the future, but as of right now, it's pretty much just going up and down, um, pretty much back to the same price it was in 06, 07. So you didn't really make money if you held on for that long. So I'm going to show you guys some measured moves right here. So this was the first leg up right here. And then this was the second leg. And if I just drag it up to the bottom of that move and drag it up, that's exactly where prices went. That's not random. Uh, look at what happened right when prices hit that level. It sold off. So I'm going to show you guys a couple more because the market moves in twos. So this was the next one right here. That was the first leg down. And then there was one leg up correction, then two legs up. And if I drag it over right to the top of that um, correction, pretty much that's where prices found support. And that's where the 2020 sell off went. That's not random. That's expected. And then again, I showed you guys this one on the daily chart. This was the first leg up right here. And if I drag it over to the bottom of that correction, let me just zoom in a little bit more. Right around here, uh, that's exactly where prices went. And then we sold off. So these measure moves aren't random. Prices move in twos. And uh, we got to take those seriously. So using that um, knowledge base, um, let's just see where prices can go from now. So it looks on the weekly chart uh, kind of bearish since we found resistance at the EMA and then we had that large bar sell off. But that doesn't mean we're going to continue lower. Uh, this could be the end of the correction. And then if we have those two legs up and then if this was the in end of the correction, I'm going to move it over right here. And it's pretty much telling me we can go back up to the highs of the range, which makes sense because we just came off the lows of the range. Let me just zoom out again. So as you can see here, if prices go to the highs, we go back to the lows and prices are at the lows, we go back up to the highs. So since we were at the lows, we could go up, go back up to the highs unless we just find some resistance in the middle and reverse. But um, there's a little more signs telling me that we will continue higher than lower. Uh, if we were to continue lower, uh, I could see that we could make another leg down of this first leg. And if I drag it over to the top of this green bar, uh, we could go back to the lows of the range. So right now on the daily chart, we are in a transitionary period. Uh, we could do something like this. See how this channel right here, let me draw it, up, draw it off for you guys. So this channel right here, back here, and then this channel right here, excuse me, let me just do this a little cleaner. So these two channels, let's change the color. Let's make them blue. So these two blue channels are pretty identical in terms of the degree and uh, amount of bars in it. And then prices came short and then we had a correction up. Um, excuse me, prices um, came up short right here just a little bit. And then we had this break outside with this red bar and then it moved to a new low and then we started trending up just a little bit. So that could be the same pattern here where we had that downtrend, a break outside and move to a new low and then we could start trending up. So we just gotta wait and see. Um, 
so that's pretty much all i see for the daily and weekly chart so um we pretty much had that downtrend um then we had that break outside move to a new low so that downtrend is pretty much over uh we could start a new downtrend but as of right now i could just see us going sideways or even reverse just a little bit since we're kind of extended from the ema um i don't know where we're gonna go in the future could we go back up to the highs of the range uh, back up to that 180 level or even the 200 level uh, maybe or are we going to continue lower back down to the lows of the range right around that 50 dollar level um, it's hard to tell right now since prices are in that transitionary period as i discussed earlier where we could do either one uh, we just got to wait for more price bars to print to the chart but that's pretty much all i see um, for win uh, looks like we might go a little bit lower to fill in this gap and then we could reverse back up to test these highs or surpass it or if we do start trending lower and lower, these uh, this would be my target. So if we start trending higher and higher, this would be my target. And if we start trending lower and lower, then this would be my target. So if you have any more questions, uh, viewer who left the donation, um, please leave in the comments, and I'll be um, and I'll answer it within 24 hours. So thank everybody, thank you everybody for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised on what you can learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also, share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver good content to you guys. See you next time and bye.